Jess, that's right. And Glossop's attorney speaking more than half an hour today discussing some of the evidence and some of the reasons that he feels as though Glossop is innocent. Now, he was also joined today by State Representative Kevin McDougal, who actually sent a letter to Governor Kevin Stitt and also the Oklahoma Pardon and Parole Board. And it was signed by 34 legislators from both sides of the aisle. Now, both Glossop's attorney and McDougal are requesting a third party investigation into the case. And this is pretty significant because Representative McDougal, of course, is a longtime supporter of the death penalty in Oklahoma. But he says when Glossop's case came to his desk and he learned about the facts and the new evidence, he now believes Glossop is innocent. I can tell you uh, that from a political standpoint, uh, there is nothing to gain when you get involved in something like this. And the only reason I'm here is because I do believe personally uh, that we have an innocent man on death row. We did a thorough investigation on this case. We interviewed more than 190 people in this case. We consulted more than 15 expert witnesses, forensic pathologists, serologists, forensic accountants, polygraph experts, FBI and crime scene efforts. Now, Glossop has already exhausted his uh, criminal appeals and also he was denied clemency before, but his attorney, uh, Don Knight, says today that because of the delays in the case, the pardon and parole board will hear Glossop's clemency petition once an execution date is set. Of course, the board would still have to recommend clemency and then it goes to Governor Stitt, who has final say. Reporting live tonight, Paris Jones, KOCO 5 News.